Well, despite modern navigation aids like GPS, airplanes sometimes end up at the wrong airport, as we discovered last November when the Dreamlifter landed at Jabera Airport. Well, today, navigation errors are relatively rare thanks to technology, but it hasn't always been that way. Meteorologist Frank Waugh Raw shows us a long-forgotten navigation aid that helped early aviators find Wichita. I probably walked across it ten times, never paid any attention to it. Sitting in the northeast corner of Harold Hartman's pasture <laughs> is this, a giant concrete arrow. And he isn't the only Kansan with one. It's always been a pasture here, so there hasn't been any reason for it to be destroyed. These crumbling pieces of cement are actually part of an early aviation navigation system. Towers with rotating lights were placed on top of the arrows. My dad was the keeper of the light bulbs, so if one, it had two, and if one burned out, then he'd have to replace one of them. And these beacons were important. They stretched coast to coast to help early airmail pilots navigate the night sky. I've seen them at night, and they look like street lights on a clear night that you can uh, look down the down the airway and see him. Wichita resident Jay McLeod never carried the mail, but he did start flying in the late 1930s. Decades later, he encountered one of these beacons in Wyoming. Contrary to good judgment, I suppose I was flying rather low because I wanted to get down out of their wind. And I came across this beacon, which was Site 29, between Medicine Bow and Rawlins, Wyoming. This is the only one that I've ever seen. Of course, I was interested in it enough to f go to all this work to paint a picture of it. From memory, he painted Beacon 29 that guided pilots from New York to San Francisco. And while the colors remain vibrant on the canvas, most of the early beacons faded long ago thanks to advances in navigation technology. We understand that they did take it down and use probably the metal for the war or after the war. I asked one guy that's been here since 1936, is two miles east here. He never knew anything about it, and he farmed right across the road. Only four of the original arrows on the Kansas City Amarillo Airway are visible in Kansas. This is one of them, and it sits just southwest of Hayesville. Beacon number 26 resides in rural Sumner County, and number 25 calls a pasture in Harper County home. Beacon 24 can be found at the south end of the Anthony Airport. Today, the tower still guides pilots, but the arrow provides little more than a reminder of how far navigation has come. Certainly to me, it represents something that's Tremendous when you think of GPS today, how simple it is. It's amazing that now it finally gets some credit for what it did. Interesting stuff, isn't mm -hmm. it? Well, the arrow at the Anthony Airport is the only beacon on public property. Now, the best way to view these historic arrows is from above, but there's no need to worry if you don't have a plane. We've created a custom Google map that allows you to view them. Just head over to cake.com and click on this story. <laughs>